Finch, you're back. What's this? A note from Sky. It reads, Dear Shante, someone named Roddy Tops replied to my message. She says she knows the whereabouts of the next night's Gold Stone. She travels with a zombie caravan, which is camped east of Watertown. Hope this helps. Friends always, Sky. Car. Sounds like my next stop, all right. I better go find that caravan. Hello, world. My name is Jebediah, and welcome to episode five of Shantae. Last time, we made our way through the Golden Mine and found the Golden Stone. This time, our first stop will be to talk to Mimic. To talk to Mimic. So I'll just warp, warp to the... Oh, what's this? Warp, warp to Scuttletown. And see if Mimic has anything to say. Anything to add. So let's see him. Sky told you to head for the zombie caravan. How frightening. Head east past Watertown and you'll find it. Maybe someone there can tell you more. So... Time to head to Watertown, I guess. Before we actually get to Watertown, there's something we can find here in this waterfall area. If we head down this ladder. Just gotta get past all these demon bat things. There's this sort of hidden area, this hidden forest thing. And we can run past it. But, well, firstly, there's this stump. We can, we can break as an elephant. And it leads... Hold on, I gotta get rid of these guys there. There they go. It leads to an another section of the overworld, but we have to find the stump, which is actually in that first forest. But you have to open both sides of the shortcut before you can use it. But anyways, that's not what we're coming here for. If we head through this log and through this cave, That guy did see us. And heading out of the cave, we come to this place. And we can quickly climb up the sides as a monkey. All the way to the top here. Now this time. So we'll become an elephant. And... Head down. And over here we see this... Guy. He's got an antenna on his head. So we can actually use a storm puff on him to get him out of the way and find this must be the monkey claw this talisman will allow me to attack in monkey form we deselect the cloud and now we've got a monkey attack That's very helpful. All right, now we can head to Watertown. 
So here we go. Let water down. Let's see if anyone's got uh, anything helpful to say. Is your ponytail magic? I thought only half genies were born with quirky powers like that. I knew a gal who could squirt milk out her eye. But she was a half genie. Have you found any of those warp squids yet? You ought to. It would sure make traveling easier. Fireflies are always out at night. You should look for them in all sorts of out-of-the-way places. If you catch enough of them, something good is bound to happen. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out for fireflies. Have you bought any of Watertown's famous fighter's equipment? It's expensive, but worth it. What about you? I am filthy stinking rich. You know those dirt dogs in scarecrow fields? If you chase them and smack them like crazy, they keep dropping loot. I don't feel bad about it at all. All the gecko games are better for money. What's wrong with this fighter's tiara? Or tiara, I suppose. I guess I should have bought a fighter's cuff first. Should I talk to you? Yep. Now I've talked to that guy who just passed. You're new. You know Mimic? That old critter is a relic hunter. He's been around for years, digging in the dirt. They call him Mimic because he makes copies of everything he finds. Alright, I think that's it. None of these people had anything helpful. What about Bolo? Have you got anything to say? This guy told you to head for the zombie caravan. Very scary. If you see any drop dead gorgeous zombie girls, get their names. Yeah, he's not. He's not useful. But I do want to buy a that fighter's cuff that that guy was talking about. Something to spend my money on. So that, that lets you hold the attack button and charge up and do a big attack. Let me save first. Hey there, save guy. Now let's head to the caravan. Also, we'll head east. Through this rainstorm area. These guys are a bit annoying. Especially on this uh, little terrain. We'll just jump over you and we can get our second firefly. Now we need to be a monkey to actually get up here. I'll just jump over you. Monkey claw comes in useful here. These guys just gotta hit, you gotta hit once after you knock them away. Now we're going to carefully jump across here. Ah, daytime. this uh, snail field. You can get these guys. They're not terribly dangerous though. I mean, you can run past them as long as, as long as you don't get bit. But you can make them go down to the ground. You can't stand on them. Past these mantis guys. One of these 
Mountains has a secret. Can't quite remember which one. It's either that one we just passed, or... Well, it's not down there. Not up there. Because I can't, can't get up there. I don't think it's up there. That doesn't look right to me. Not, not how I rem remembered it. So it must be whatever this next mountain we come across is. This one? Well, first off, there's a entrance to one of those shortcuts here. We haven't yet been to the other side, so not that useful. But there should be a... There's a firefly somewhere around here at night. So I'll just wait until then. Well, it's night time, not this mountain. I guess it's the last one. The first one. Or the second one, depending on how you want to look at it. So let me climb up, climb up here. Yeah, there it is. Now we just need to keep heading east until we reach the caravan. Or whatever we come across before we hit the caravan. Swampy area. With all these little platforms. Having Shantae's more stable jump makes it a lot easier. Well, this looks important. Hey, another safe statue. don't need to deal with any of these zombies. Looks, looks like some kind of graveyard. Being a monkey is the best option, I think can easily climb up these trees to get and get the ghosts. Ideally, get those ghosts. Oh, I saw that uh, firefly. Oops. Alright. Alright, firefly. I need to get you. Before it becomes daytime. Gotta wait for it to be daytime. I mean nighttime. That's oh, behind me. There we go. Now, in order to get to the caravan, we gotta break this wall as an elephant. And become a monkey in order to just run un underneath all these ghosts. And one final wall. I can just break that. And head to the zombie caravan. Which you can only get to at night. So it's gotta be nighttime.
Alright, let's talk to all these zombies. If you meet Roddy Tops, you'd better watch your back. I wouldn't trust her any deeper than I could bury her. Ever use a flash bolt or a pike ball? Flash bolts are great for destroying distant targets, but pike balls have better defense. I got enough stuff right now. Bubblements are rare plants that cause whoever chooses them to duplicate. Imagine your attack power if there were two of you. Hey you, I saw you. What do you got to say? The zombie guys are disgusting. They only like women for their brains. Roddy Tops has two ugly brothers. Good thing they're all apart right now, because when they're a trio, they're bad news. What about you? Hey, Beat Sack, welcome to the zombie caravan. We'll be gone by morning, and who knows where we'll turn up next. Better stock up at the shop. Spiders are very good at climbing tree trunks, walls, or other flat surfaces. I've seen them get at places gen a genie could never reach. I think that's it. So first off, like you said, the zombie caravan will move. Because of that, I want to give the whoop squids I found in the Golem Mine to this whoop squid. So if I ever need to come back here, I don't have to find it again. All right, here's, a, here's your last one. Found them all. Now to do something very useful. The zombie dance. She says warp back day or night. If you warp here and it's daytime, it will make it nighttime, so. If this, if this caravan didn't move, it'd be a good way to uh, change the time. There are a couple of things I want to buy while I'm here. They got slightly better prices than uh, other towns, so that's a reason to come here, I guess. First off, I want to buy some float muffins. And second, I want to buy some twin mints. And I think that's it. Yeah. So let me head to the bathing wagon, which is which is run by a zombie. And finally, saving, which is run by a zombie save guy. Go talk to Roddy Tops. In the, in the keep out wagon. Excuse me, I'm looking for a zombie named Roddy Tops. I'm Roddy Tops. Who are you? My name's Shantae. You replied to my question about a magical stone, right? Oh, that. It's called the Simmer Stone because it burns endlessly. It's kept deep inside the Kekko Mound by a society of Shriekers. What about it? I need to get it before somebody. I need to get to it before something terrible happens. Can you show me the way inside? Me show you? Ha! Huh. Aren't you afraid to ask a zombie for help? I might try to eat your brains. I thought only wild zombies ate brains. Show us what you know. Tell you what, let's have a little competition to see just how bad you want it. If you win, I'll show you to the Simmerstone. But if I win, your brains become a tasty snack for me and my pals. What do you say, Shantae? Want a race? So, it's time to race. You know that one level from Battletoads? Well, that's sort of what this is, except instead of jumping, you also have sliding you gotta do. Andrade Tops will always be right behind you, so... can only really mess up once.
if she's in front of you, you can kind of, you can hear her jump. So. Well. I won't win now. Either try again or cough up those brains. What do you say, Shante? Wanna race? So, just have to keep trying until you get it. And it's the same every time, so if you're able to just memorize the pattern, then you'll be fine. So we'll see if we get it this time. It's all right, messing up at the beginning is fine. Still a chance for me to catch up. One, two, I think. Yeah, messed up right at the end. Well, time to do that again. There we go. We did it. You beat me, Dagnab. Look, Shante, you've got passion, and I like that. What do you say I help you get that Simba Stone? I promise to keep the snacking to a minimum. Uh, I suppose. Then I'll meet you at the door of the Cackle Mound. Later. And that's where we'll end things today. Next time on Shante, we'll head to the Cackle Mound to find the Simmerstone. Stay tuned. <laughs>